Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Card Review. So today we are looking at another Jinzo card. So apparently uh, they are not done getting Jinzo a couple of cards. You know, he had a couple of cards in the past. He still didn't do much. But today we're going to be looking at this new guy who's apparently in Secrets of Eternity. So this is Jinzo Jacker. Yes, Jinzo Jacker. He is a dark machine effect. Level 4 with 800 attack and 2000 defense. So at least he has a nice booty. So, you know. If you can't, if you're not ready for the plays, you can always just set them. Like I said, 2,000 D. It's not bad. It's not bad. All right. So let's go ahead and go over his effect. So this card name becomes Jinzo while it is face up on the field or in the graveyard. Okay. So he's Jinzo, just Jinzo Jacker, but it's still Jinzo. You contribute this card. Add one Jinzo monster from your deck to your hand, except Jinzo Jacker. Then reveal all set cards in your opponent's spell or trap zone. If there were any traps revealed, you can special summon any number of Jinzo monsters from your hand up to the number of trap cards revealed. You can only use the effect of Jinzo Jack once per turn. I love this card. I love this card. As you guys know, I hate back row. I hate back row. And this guy pretty much just says, hey, I have a searchable royal decree. Like, yeah. Like, oh, you said all that back row? I summoned Jinzo Jacker. Response? No? All right, I'm going to go ahead and tribute him. Let me see that back row. Oh, oh, you got, you know, you got some, some breakthrough skills. You got some Phoenix Chain, some Deep Presence. Oh, you got a bottomless too? Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and search my Jinzo. And then Jinzo Jacker will allow me to special summon the Jinzo from my hand. Yeah. And you know what's so funny? You can't summon him warning my Jinzo because Jinzo is being summoned by the effect of Jinzo Jacker. So you have to warning the Jinzo Jacker. You cannot warning the summoning of Jinzo. So you can't stop Jinzo pretty much. He's not an inherent summon like that. So, so good. So good. So just let me see your background. Let me see all your spells and traps. Oh, I see a trap card right there. Well, I already searched for this Jinzo. Special summon the Jinzo. 2400 beater. No trap cards. I love it. I love it. Yes, I love it. I love it so much. I hurt this card. This is just awesome. You know, I you know, I, I hate back row. I love Royal Decree. Royal Decree is my favorite trap card in the game. I can't say Jinzo is my favorite monster, of course, because I have monsters that I love way more than Jinzo. But, you know, he's definitely up there just because I hate back row so much that I just naturally love Jinzo. And being able to just have this guy who can search you for a Jinzo and then you special summon the Jinzo. Just so awesome. Now, of course, you're going to have to take some precautions, of course, because you're special summoning that Jinzo. Um, you know, he's special summoned. You're blocking all back rows, including your own. So, you know, depending on what deck you're facing, your opponent might be able to just go like, okay, well, I'm just going to go ahead and make a 101 take you because you're special summoned. Now, I got a 101 with your Jinzo attached and my back row is back in ready to go. So, you know, you got to kind of weigh it out with, you know, uh, you know, with Royal Decree, you don't waste your normal summon, just flip it up, all the trap cards, you know. But, I like this card, I really do, I really do like this card, and I just had to talk about it, just because he's so fucking, just, let me see your back row, I'm gonna get a Jinzo, if you have a trap card, I'm summoning this Jinzo, like, hello, like, just beautiful, beautiful, I, I love it, I love it so much. I'm, I'm glad that Jinzo is getting this card. I, I might run this guy. Just because I hate back row so much, I might actually run this guy. Just to make sure that I get Jinzo. The question is, how many of these in Jinzo? I, mean, I, I probably run three of this, just because he is level four. So, he will have natural synergy with whatever deck that I'm playing. Probably Yuvel, you know. Because, you know, I have level four. It's like Dark Rifle. And again, I, he, is a low, he is a Dark, so if I need to, I can go ahead and discard him for um, Dark Rifle's effect. And uh, Jinzo, Jinzo is level 6, so he's the same level as uh, a Tinker. So it's not too terrible. I mean, not Tinker, Doom Shaman. So he can go ahead and sync with uh, with Tinker if need be. But you know, I just like the idea. I love the idea. Because the majority of the time I lose duels is because of back row. So if Jinzo can lock it down for me, I, I kind of like that idea. So I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm liking him. I'm liking him. I think it. I think it, and I can. And you no, know, knowing my opponent's back row, so you, you know, even after Jinzo leaves the field, I still know your back row. So, just awesome. Just awesome. This card is just, just pure awesomeness. Like this is exactly the card that Jinzo, as an archetype, needed. You know, definitely, definitely, definitely. 
So tell me what you guys think about Jinzo Jacker. I like this guy. I really do. I think that he is just awesome. Just tribute out of Jinzo. Let me see your back row. Oh, there's a trap card. Summon the Jinzo that I just searched. Like, so good. So good. And uh, of course, you can't play none of that back row because Jinzo hit the field. You can't warning him. Uh, so Jinzo hit the field. All of your trap cards? No. No. So. Awesome, you know, it doesn't start a chain, so there's no, you know, like, oh, I summon Jinzo, oh, well, in response, I play Fingers, no, it doesn't work like that, no. Jinzo doesn't start a chain, he's continuous, so he just, no trap cards, alright? So, I love it, I love it so much. Ah, uh, as a person who hates back row with a passion, I like this card. It, you just made Jinzo consistent, so awesome, awesome. Alright, so tell me what you guys think about Jinzo Jacker in the comment section below. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. So thanks for watching, thanks for all support, and I will see you guys next Tuesday with another card to look at. Thanks for watching.